Welcome to Season 4 of Light Beauty Bible Chopped. I am your host, Hunter Melton. In this season, four fearless pairs face off. Who will rise to victory? And who will go down in flames and be chopped? Let's meet the latest contenders. First up, we have Rock Lee and Viola. Hi, my name's Brock, and I've got an irrational fear of vegetables, and I was destined to be a translator due to a freak accident. Ciao, mi chiamo Viola, sono cresciuta a Pregona. Allora, uh, in più, una cosa da sapere da su di me è che ho una paura mortale dei cani. So, pretty much what she said is she lives in Miami and she has two dogs and she's excited to be here. So, Viola, what does your cooking experience look like? Uh, no, I Um, well, I'm really good at making ramen, macaroni. Next up, we have Timmy and Mima. Hi, my name is Mima. I live in Many people just call me Mima. This is my grandson. I'm Timmy. <laughs> this is my grandson, Timmy. He. I was originally going to do chopped with my husband Richard, but he had a, he had an accident with the mix and so he's going to be in the hospital for more weeks. Well, I do a lot of cooking for my family. I grew up cooking for my husband Richard. Bless his heart. He thinks he knows so much about cooking when he doesn't really do much. But I do a lot of cooking for my family. Hey Timmy, what's your cooking experience look like? <laughs> we don't let him do it. The next pair is Winifred and Elizabeth. Hi, I'm Elizabeth. Hi, my name is Winifred. And we're roommates. We're here on top because we're broke college students that need money. Well, <laughs> my grandma paid for us to be here so that we can- The queen needs us. to be a grandma! Ah! Ah! What the is all my house? The queen is dead. School. I took a lot of foods classes. Um, do I remember a lot from them? No. But I remember how to use a microwave. Last, we have a Vladimir Novogol and Sven Svensson. Okay, I am Sven Svensson. I am the world famous food fisk chef and I've won many awards. I can't wait to participate in CHOP. And I, I realized you had to have a partner, so I found this guy here. Uh, what's your name again? Vladimir Novigov. I was raised in Siberian wilderness. To sustain myself, I would drink wolves and fight off bears for salmon out of Volga River. I'm here for my beloved Babushka, my grandmother. May she rest in peace. Well, I'm going to make a. Uh, potato mash, potato soup, potato stew, potato stew, potato stew, potato stew, potato stew, potato stew, now that we've met our contestants, it's time for them to open the basket of ingredients. Who's a quill? Oh, Very oh, good. Oh, good. Oh, good. Oh, each pair must incorporate each of these ingredients in their appetizer. Today's ingredients include sushi rolls, tomatillos, and liquid smoke. You have 35 minutes to prepare an appetizer. Your time starts now. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna take apart the sushi, we're gonna take the rice, we're gonna fry that in a little bit of oil, and then we're gonna take the imitation crab and some carrots, and we're going to put that in some liquid smoke and fry that up as well. And then we're gonna take the cream cheese from the from the sushi, and then we're going to mix that in with the tomatillos to make a nice So we got some cool ingredients in the shop kitchen. We're gonna be cutting up those green, uh, those green ball things. We're slicing them, put them in butter. Butter is so good. We're gonna be putting in butter and sauteing them up with some smoked sauce, and then doing the sushi. I love sushi. We're gonna be crunching up the sushi and put <laughs> putting them in a salad wrap, and it's gonna be mighty fun. What do you think, Timmy? Don't make any. 
specific either, but we, we work with it. And now let go of your breath to me. fish and chips in honor of Her Majesty. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to take the sushi and we're going to slice it into like chip shapes and we're going to fry them in the butter. And then I will be preparing the green tomato thingies, frying them up in liquid smoke to make them just pop. And I'm putting them on top of the sushi so Her Majesty can enjoy them from heaven. Okie dokie. So um, well, we're gonna make a play on lutefis since sushi is fish like lutefis. So we're gonna pair it with potatoes and butter. Oh, yes, potatoes, <laughs> my area of expertise. We're going to be having uh, mashed potatoes with butter as well as like, smoked and skin and uh, the, uh, the, uh, the uh, tomatillos. Tomatillos, uh, diced and topped over, over the dish. Yeah. That's all for the plan. Yep. Contestants, you have. 15 minutes remaining. Oh, we're gonna kill it. You know, I think we have a strong, a strong team going on here. And we're here to win. The queen needs to win. We're excited to win this competition. Isn't that right, comrade? Oh, yeah. For sure. Well, I'm here for my beloved Babushka. If I do not win at this party, I will lose my life in a very new I hope to do very well in this competition and prove that Utopis is the best piece of paper. Contestants, you have five minutes remaining! What? Talk to me about what you're doing, Elizabeth. It's not working. I'm falling apart. It's just mush. They look like mashed potatoes. We got to get uh, the Your name is Broccoli? <laughs> that's so in that's such an interesting name. I like it. I have an irrational fear of vegetables. <laughs> we used to like yeah. broccoli! <laughs> Look! Oh my god. We have not to do. Talk to me, why did you two add sugar? It was too sour. Mm. You need something else. The Queen's Tears. Oh no. Also saying that the Swedish does not know how to work the American. No. So you're still cooking stuff. How you doing? Horrible. It's a, it's a patty. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know how it works. I think it's okay. You have five, four, three, two, one. That's time. Overall, we can see other. I think the way we played it, um, the appearance, 
was very well done. We kind of ran out of time, so it got a little sloppy at the end, but I think overall we, we did pretty well. We problem solved and we conquered it. Yuck. How do you think you'll place? Not last. I just don't even know at this point. Oh, first place. Good place, man. <laughs> Good place, man. According to plan, we'll, we'll win. It is, uh, it's our expectation. I think we may have, I may have spiced up the dinner, the appetizer a bit too hard for the judges' taste buds, but we'll see. All rise for the Honorable Judge Jody. My name is Judge Jody. I've been on TV now for many years, and I'm excited to be here today. Howdy y'all, my name is Billy, and uh, I was cast for a reality TV show that I thought would be uh, tropical in nature, and then they set me in this uh, cold place to eat bad food. At least that's what they told me. We'll see what happens. Kevin. It is now time for the judges to assess your work. Will the first two contestants, names of Brock Lee and Viola, please come in front of the table? Okay, so what we have is we fried up the rice that we, we disassembled the sushi, we fried up the rice and um, made it into a somewhat patty. And on top, we mixed in some. And <laughs> but she's dead. And we on top we we have the imitation crab. I have no idea what they just said. On presentation I do have to admit it is not the worst looking. As you can see, they have uh, sushi, that's what it's called. We crumbled up some sushi and fried it with some of those green tomato thingies, whatever you call them. And we put them on a nice lettuce. This is and one that, that makes me more nervous than, than anything I've ever been nervous before in my life. Especially with that heavy breathing over there. Or it just come out of Yes, hello? Do I have to? Thing. Are you gonna put the whole thing in your mouth? I'm gonna just go for put it. Put the whole thing in your mouth. Alright, here we go. Three, two. He has a commitment spirit. I love it. He's shook. Are you ready, Kevin? There's so much lettuce. And so much smoke. That's all I taste is that liquid smoke and lettuce, which has no taste to begin with. Definitely a lot of smoke. Somebody hey. give me a bucket. <laughs> All right. Okay, we have prepared in honor of the queen. Raw fish chips. Okay, so first of all, the queen is deceased. <laughs> <laughs> so R.I.P. Um, rude. Well. I don't know if they had much to do with that. I will tell you one thing. 
you did better. There's not as much of that smokiness. It's not overpowering everything else. It's not far off, but it's not the worst thing I've ever eaten. The final contestants, Sven Svensson and Vladimir Novak, may present their dishes to the jury. What we have here is a little take on lutebisk, where we, we did not have any lutebisk, but we had the sushi. Thank goodness. So we cooked the sushi, and then we top, we put it together like a lutebisk should be. Yes, it is a large, uh, hearty Russian appetizer. Large amount, large for uh, girthy, girthy food. Yes. Time for my food to be girthy. <laughs> <laughs> well, then you get to try it first. All right. This is just a sushi on the top. <laughs> so it's just the whole sushi right on the top. <laughs> the creativity may be uh, lacking. <laughs> Definitely a lot of butter. What is the, the gravy, Sven? Svensson? May I, may I call you the Svensson? Sure. You may. What's the gravy? It's just butter and the smoke. The, the butter on the potatoes with the smoke, very heavy and, and overpowering to the overall presentation. Thank you. Thank you. How has this um, experience been for you guys as a whole? Fabulous. Martin is learning how to cook. I'm not expecting them to like you to taste more. This thing is very strong. Strange. Might be other places though. We won't like potatoes. That is true. You love potatoes. My other wishes still in the hospital, so I'm proud of her. All right. I think if we look at this, we can go through it one by one. And if we look at that first one. You know, it was the first one we judged, but I think we realized that we're a little harsh on that. Is that one we did stand out as one of the Yeah, and I mean, especially after tasting the other ones. All right, when we look at the second one, what is there to say? Breathing. Breathing. The that, color was hard for me. Yep, that's, that is true. Uh, it just had so little taste other than the lettuce. How about number three? Chefs, thank you for presenting your appetizers. The judges have deliberated, and I must inform you that Chefs Broccoli, <coughs> Viola, Winifred, and Elizabeth are safe. You may have said Help me, sister! Will the remaining chefs please step forward? Judges, please deliver your feedback on the contestants' food. So after reviewing um, all four dishes, uh, Sven and Vladimir, it it was a valiant attempt. What was so hard for us was that the potatoes seemed to be the star of your dish. Um, however, the taste wasn't bad, and so we, we had some trouble with what to do with that. Yeah, uh, Timmy and Mima, uh, just a few things. Number one, breathing. Number two, so much smoke. There just was a lot of smoke in there. Uh, but I will say that the presentation, not so bad. Uh, the, the lettuce made it a little bit more tolerable. Unfortunately, one pair of chefs may be chopped. And they are Timmy and Mima. Thank <laughs> you.
Okay, Jimmy. We can go make some food for your grandpa, okay? It's fine. You're fine. I'm fine. We're all fine. I, I don't know what to do with myself anymore. I thought I was a good cook, and now I think my husband. Yeah, my husband Richard is right. <laughs> to make another therapy session. You two ended up with the best score. How do you feel? I think we did pretty well. I feel like a queen when she just got coronated. I am just as high as a kite. Oh, I feel fine. I feel very, uh, mildly happy. Almost made this one. Play that. Almost. See you next time. Lake Beauty Bible Chopped. Kimmy will be back. So pretty much what she's saying is... No. Pretty much what she's saying is she's super excited to be here and she's talking to all her friends and she's engaged! I'm so excited to do CHOP. It has always been my dream to do CHOP and it's, it's, I'm so excited. I've seen this on the TV a few times and it seemed like so- <laughs> The queen's gonna be so proud of you. Is a correct comrade. I'm just hey, do you want to see a picture of my hometown? Yeah. It's about a hundred kilometers west of Uppsala, and here you go. Oh, it's it's lovely weather there, as you can tell. Oh my gosh, that's creepy. <laughs> Penguin.